So we have some breaking news here. Uh, under siege, Trump says FBI raided Ma Alago. This is August 8th, coming in at 7.27 p.m. I say that former President Donald Trump said Monday evening that the Federal Bureau of Investigation has conducted a raid of his Florida home. These are dark times for our nation, as my beautiful home, Mount Alago, in Palm Beach, Florida, is currently under siege, raided and occupied by a large group of FBI agents, Trump said in a statement posted to Truth Social, his social media website. No, notice, this is like uh, that book, 1984 by George Orwell, he calls it Truth so Social. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, call it prosec prosecutorial misconduct and an attempt by Democrats to hurt a possible 2024 presidential bid. The Justice Department is investigating Trump's action in relation to the January 6, 2021 attack on the Capitol, the former president's effort to overturn Joe Biden's victory in the 2020 election has also been the focus of the House January 6 Select Committee's investigation. In May, a federal grand jury also began investigating whether Trump had mishandled classified documents, including taking 15 boxes of materials to the Florida resort. Monday's raid was first reported by Florida Politics which said the FBI had executed a search warrant and left the premises to deliver anything minutes before Trump posted his statement about it. They even broke into my safe, Trump said in the statement, comparing the latest events to the Watergate break-in. Trump also lamented that his former opponent in the 2016 presidential race Hillary Clinton was allowed to delete an acid wash 33,000 emails after they were subpoenaed by Congress An FBI investigation into Clinton's handling of the emails recommended that the former Secretary of State not be charged with a crime and an internal State Department investigation cleared her of wrongdoing. Trump concluded by writing, I will continue to fight for the great American people. Well, what he forgot to say is that he he's very, very flagrant, flagrantly breaking the law, going out there, talking like the law doesn't apply to him, you know? I mean, in many cases, he seemed like... Uh, He's not like any other former president, you know, like Gerald Ford, right? Gerald Ford lost the election to Jimmy Carter. Okay, he didn't say, oh, the election was stolen. I want to make a comeback. Right? And you had um, George Bush, George Herbert Walker Bush, right? He was a one-term president. He lost. He didn't say, oh, you know. I need, to, I need to make a comeback. Yeah. I need to come back. He didn't say anything like that. Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter was a one-term president. He lost. He went back to play in Georgia. As a simple man, like a carpenter. He didn't complain and say this the election was stolen and this and that and so forth. No. But Trump definitely believes he's above the law. He believes the courts do not apply to him. And when you look at the way he writes English or speaks it, you give the impression that he's a victim, you know, that he's the savior of America. That's what it really amounts to. You know, for uh, under United States uh, citizenship test, anybody who ever took that test or is aware of it, they're like a different about maybe a hundred questions, but they ask like ten questions. One of the questions has to do with the rule of law and what it means. 
you know. So if that's thrown in, let's say a person is taking that test, somebody with a green card taking that test, and they have to answer that question, what it is is that the rule of law means that in America, nobody is above the law. We are not a kingdom. We're not like Great Britain, where the queen, you know, the queen, for example, the queen, Queen Elizabeth, she can drive without a driver's license. <laughs> She's above the law, you know. You can't arrest her. Something like in Thailand, the king in Thailand is above the law. They have less majest in, in Thailand. You can't say anything to offend the king in Thailand. He's above the law. Trump believes that being a former American president makes him above the law, but no. And one of the reasons they, they put that, <coughs> that question on the test about the rule of law, they're saying, look, what makes America different or the United States of America different is that we have the rule of law. We're different from many other countries whereby it's not like favoritism or what have you. That means if you have power, if you're a governor, if you're a senator, you fall under the law. So if you do something wrong, you could be charged. You can have the FBI. And in my lifetime, I've seen governors uh, arrested, yeah. <laughs> I've seen governors in the United States arrested. I've seen pre um, senators you know, who was serving in, in uh, the Senate in Congress, arrested, okay, and went to prison. I've seen it all, you know. So that's what the rule of law means. It means that, uh, yeah, don't think that because you're powerful, you have connections, that the rule of law doesn't apply to you. However, with Trump, Trump believes that because he was president, he could do what he wants. And I saw um, I saw a picture early today where it showed the toilet where Trump destroyed material in the White House. You're not supposed to do that. Any document generated in the White House has to be preserved. Yeah, you can't. There, there is no, um, there's no uh, machine in the White House. You know where you can like uh, shred, like a paper shredder? No, they don't own that <laughs> in the White House. You, you're not going to find a paper shredder in the White House like in an office. Nope. Not going to find that. However, he destroyed that. Now, he mentions Hillary Clinton and I said the White House is destroying emails. Well, you know, emails emails are on, uh, on, on a hard drive. So how are you going to use uh, acid to destroy emails or what have you? Yeah. So that comes across as a kind of a Walter Mitty delusional type talk. But Trump has been like poking the Justice Department. He's been flagrant. He's been going around. He's been pompous. He's been saying more more than likely it's like saying I'm above the law you can't do me anything I'm running for president again you know here's the man most people if they know that maybe the Justice Department is probably investigating you they try to be quiet and keep a low profile they're not gonna be like walking around talking about I'm gonna be running in 20 I might be running in 2024 I need to make a an announcement soon. No, they ain't gonna be saying that. They maintain a low profile. He doesn't. Instead, he goes and makes um, a speech before CPAC. So it's like he he's he's irritating the people at the Justice Department. It's like he's saying, "You can't do me anything," you know. It's like saying, "Do you know who I am? <laughs> do you know who I am?" And they say, okay, we have enough of you, mister, you know. In this country, we have the rule of law. We don't have a king. We don't have a queen. There is no kingdom. And everybody falls under the rule of law. Whether you a former president, a former senator, or what have you, you fall under the rule of law. 